help you. Well, looks like you boys had some trouble. Yeah, we had some trouble. Bad trouble. What you want? Oh, I was supposed to meet some business partners here. They arranged a meeting, I believe. Fellow with a scar and a Mexican? Yes, sir. Out by the stables, I think. Thank you. And, uh, sorry for your troubles, friend. Everybody. And there's trouble everywhere. Bandits attack my fields. Men getting killed. Just who are you? That awful business was nothing to do with us. I like <laughs> I like smoking tobacco, not recklessly burning it. And have you met my partner, Arthur Morgan? No. I met your son, the sheriff. Okay. Mr. Gray here was saying how he had problems with a family. A family of degenerates. Oh, well, nobody likes degenerates. The hag and her inbred sons. They ruined this county. They killed my uncle, you know. That ain't right. Problem is, we can't be seen to get too close. And? We've got gold, Yankee. We've got gold. I ain't no Yankee, friend. I ain't nothing. My daddy came over on the boat from Scotland. I'm Scottish. And the Braithwaites? Goddamn peasants! I don't know. Mongrels! Slave fuckers! All you gotta do is look at them. How much gold? Enough. These are prized horses I'm talking about. Them, they'll get you... 5,000. 5,000? For horses? Easy. And where do we sell them, these $5,000 horses? Over in Clemens Cove. Fellow over there will run them out of state and give you 50 cents on the dollar. Mister, you got yourself a deal. Just keep us away from this. Publicly, I mean. My sense is we keep all horse wrestling away from the public. the stables on the south side of the manor. That's where they keep the thoroughbreds. us who torched his tobacco crop. That was you? The old man was cursing the Braithwaite's about that. Burning rich folks' property? Sean was like a pig in shit. Talking to Sean, he said to give you a message to meet him, Bill, and Micah in town as soon as you can. Some other job they got going with the Grays. Another one? Uh, okay. I'll go see what they're up to when we're done with this. So how are we gonna play this? The place is well guarded, so there ain't no point in blasting in there. We'll make them think we're there looking to purchase. Three armed men? You'd be armed if you were about to spend 5,000 on horses. We should go in the back way, though. Avoid too many questions. 
Guard. I'll speak to him, okay? Can I help you, gentlemen? Yeah, we're here to see about some horses. Horses? Yeah, we had a, an appointment with Mr. Braithwaite, I believe. Yeah, I never heard about any of this. Our partner wanted to make a significant investment in some stables down here. But perhaps we should look elsewhere. Well, I... Uh, okay, then. Let... Head on up to the stables. Someone will come see you. Easy. Despacio. Yeah. That's it. Nice and easy. No need to rush. We don't want to draw any unnecessary attention. All right. I think that's the stables just up ahead. Heads down. Play cool. Head around the front. Hitch up there. All right, let's hitch up here. Good job, girl. Let me do the talking. you boys I hope so heard you got some horses we always got horses fine horses I mean I don't get you friend yeah you do come on listen why don't you get out of here you scarface and your greaser buddy whoa I don't like officials we ain't officials we're connoisseurs looking to do some breedings come on now partner okay fine follow me these here's mainly the studs available for purchase or for working. If that's what you're interested in. What is your boys interested in? We represent a famous uh, stable and stud farm from uh, Saratoga. Is that so? Unofficially. Of course. Well, this here's Cerberus. Here you go, boy. Cerberus is a real reliable stud. Fathered many a race winner. <laughs> Greaser, huh? Okay. Bandana's on. Don't need nobody recognizing us. All right. I'll grab the white one in the middle. You get the other two. <laughs> Relax, boy. Come on. Good boy. Whoa, there. Easy, easy now. Whoa, now. Easy, easy. Marston, you're gonna tether him up to Javier's horse. Okay. Javier, you're gonna lead the stallion. Easy there. You'll be all right. <laughs> this way. Come on. Marston, you ride point. I'll cover up the back. If there's any problems, we regroup at Clemens Cove. Okay. What are you doing? Let's go, quick! Go, get out of here. I got the back. What the hell are you doing? Stop! Stop! You sorry? Ah! Stay with us, Hunter. Bitch! Yep. Look out ahead! They're coming out of the fields!
Fuck your way out! We'll have to go through the fields! Look there! The fence is down! Come on! It's over for you! See if we can get rid of them in the trees! We're clear. Yeah. horses to Clemens Cove quick before we run into any more trouble. Well done. Clemens Cove is just over there. Come on. Let's get this over with. Here. Well, that could have gone smoother. That'll be on my gravestone. You think they look like they're paying 5000 for horses? I guess we'll see. Boys want. Heard you was, uh, heard you pay good prices for horses. Oh, we'll buy more or less anything, Pop. That so? Sure, Pop. I'm Clay Davies. That's my brother Clive. We're twins. John, Arthur, Javier. <clears throat> so what are you? Cuban? No, I don't like Cubans. That so? Maybe. Why, what do you care? You ain't Cuban. Maybe I like Cubans. <laughs> Ooh, you're funny. He's funny. Ain't he funny, Clive? Clive don't talk. We're twins, but I was born first. He came out all yellow and black, but he's okay. Ah. Sure. Yeah, I know these horses. They, they ain't yours. But I like you, and I'll give you... I can give you 654. Hey. <laughs> I was told we could get up to $5,000 for them. And I was told the moon was made of ladies' tears. Only it ain't true. Not one little bit. But... I like you boys. But I ain't got more than 700 on me. You want it, or you want to ride them fellers into town, and maybe someone there will hang you. We're gonna need more than that. I ain't got no more money, Pop. Here, take it or leave it. Uh-huh. All right, you goddamn fool, Marston. Ain't no one around here got $5,000, boys, but nice meeting you. <laughs> See you boys again, I hope. Come on, yeah. Close the gate, Clive. Believe the yarn. 
time spun us by one of that Gray family, and imagined we was gonna be wonderfully rich. <sighs> At the end of it, we felt like prize idiots. Mister, keep to yourself. Calm down. today, Bill. Shut up. <laughs> I've been waiting for you, Arthur. Well, I'm sorry to have kept you. Come on, let's get going. What's the plan? We're meeting a couple of the Greys over at the saloon. They spoke to Bill about a job, needing security. After the farce of stealing the horses for them, why are we doing this? Because we need to stay in with them, and they're paying. So what kind of security they want? We're about to find out. Now come on. This seem legit to you, Bill? Sure. Dutch said we was to keep on dealing with them until we find this gold. Can we trust them? Can we trust anyone? Yeah. Let's just see what they say. They said there was some... Big misunderstanding about them horses. And what about board in their fields? They don't know we had anything to do with that. Oh, uh, that's so. Yeah, they think it was the Braithwaites. Listen, I know these gray boys a bit now. This is on the level. We're stuck in the middle of some ancient feud, but instead of playing both sides, we're being used by both of them. They were saying the Catherine Braithwaite. Hey, hold up. This don't feel right. Now it don't feel right. I could have told you. Shit! Sons of bitches!
bunch of bitches! Uh, One of these bastards is gonna walk out of here! Getting sloppy, Morgan. You see that window in Sean's skull? Don't talk to me about slop. Better in here, not there. You sure about that? <laughs> what now? You're breathing your last breath. So yeah, thinking the craze might be on to us after all. Now it's sinking in. So much for loot. What damn loot? We ain't getting out of this with nothing. That's assuming we even get out of it. Of course we're getting out of it. This is you and me, Morgan. Ah! We always get the job done. You call this getting the job done? You see Bill anywhere? Uh, no. Shit. You should have been smart. This is some damn posse to graze rounded up. We'd have had to deal with these sons of bitches sooner or later. Just turned out to be sooner. See that? Those cowards are running away. Looks like most of them. Not all of them. Sheriff Gray. And what about Bill? Where the hell's he? We'll find him later. Come on. Sheriff Gray! You need to get a hold on this town. It's going to hell. Who do you think you are? Bunch of two-bit thugs from God knows where. So dumb to think we don't know what you've been doing. Come out, Sheriff. It's over. We put down far worse than you. A hundred times over. This is the Gray's town. Always has been. Always will be! Only Grays I see left around here is you! You want us to come out? We'll come out! Yes. Aw, oh, Bill! Guns on the ground, now! Both of you, don't do it! You know we can't do that! You put the gun down, Sheriff! I'll blow his brains out! You wanna join your little friend there, do you? Either way, you're a... Was I to know? Let me see. They set us up once before. They didn't like us. We destroyed their farm. Should I go on? Go easy on him, Morgan. He was out trying to find a lead. Same as you. Same as Hosea. All you do is complain when things don't work out. Except when it's your goddamn fault. You don't hmm. know what you're talking about. You don't give a damn about nobody but yourself. Oh, you act so high and mighty, but you're no better than the rest of us. I've ridden with you boys close on what, six months now? And all you ever done was complain. You can fight, but you can't think. You can't do either. <laughs> okay, cowpoke. Bill, take the boy's body. Very improper someplace, quiet. Micah? Best you and I don't speak for a moment. <laughs> I'm just so frightened by you. Get out of my sight, pair of fools. He was like an annoying little brother to me. What fun we had riding together. What a goddamn mess we are making of things. <laughs>